all right so this is my other attempt to introduce static routes again to for you all and this time again we're going to use a uh, 192.168.1.0 slash 24 configuration and we're going to also use the um, uh, magic number of 32 so we're going to be borrowing three bits from um from the host portion to arrive at a net mass of 224 here are the networks that we're going to use we're going to use the 32 network the 64 network and again the 96 network all right so this is basically an advanced version to what we was doing earlier in that last lesson all right um this would be our configuration that we're going to set up here now so we're going to be using the 32 network for the first network on this side and then the network in between which is 64 right we will not be doing any variable length here we'll just use a, a normal slash 27 um 224 um address and on this network here will be 96. so basically the configuration would be for each one pc1 would take 34 right it's default gateway will be 33 um on router one as well it's serial connection and we may not use a serial connection but we will see most likely i may use a serial connection the clock rate will be 65 and um on our two it's serial connection will be 66 which we, this will be the dte end of it the fast ethernet will be will take up 97 and the pc will take up 98. now what we're going to do for this exercise is that we are going to set up static routes full and foremost at each one of these um PC2 should be able to ping to PC1 and PC1 should supposed to be able to ping to PC2. And we're going to do this in Packet Tracer um, with switches and routers and so on. All right. So we'll go to Packet Tracer and I'm using Packet Tracer 6. All right. And I'm going to first um, put up my end devices. All right. And in fact, to make things a lot easier, I'm going to load Packet Tracer 5 instead. Alright, so I'll go to my machine and I'm going to load Packet Tracer 5. I'm going to do the exercise in Packet Tracer 5 since I'm recording this. Alright, so I'm going to use Packet Tracer 5 instead. And I'm going to use a PC. So I'll use a PC here. I'll call this PC PC1. Alright, I'll use another PC and I'll put it on this end here and that will be PC2. The switches will just use as a release. I'm going to use a, gen, uh, a general switch, PT switch. So I'm going to put a switch here, switch zero. And the next generic switch will be switch, right, one. Okay. I don't have two routers in between. So I'm going to have a generic PT router, right? And I'm going to name these routers differently. I'm going to name this router router 2. And this here one router 1. Right? So what I'm going to do now is to use my cable. And I'm going to connect a straight through cable from fast Ethernet to this switch. Alright? Fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. The switch is going to connect to its fast Ethernet and go to router fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. I'm also going to use a serial connection on serial 2 slash 0 on my DCN and connect to the DTEN, serial, serial 2 slash 0. Alright? And I am going to use a straight through cable again from my router to my switch. Alright? And as well as from my switch to my PC2. Okay? So what I'm going to do basically, and I'm checking the time here, I'm going to configure the interfaces on both PC1 and PC2 and then head to the routers afterwards. So on PC1, if you could distinctively remember, as I bring up the word file, we'll take up the .34 address. So we're going to double click on PC and M1. Alright? And I would go to my IP configuration and type 192.168.1.34, right? This net mass is 224, if you can recall, because it's a 
classless but the default gateway was dot thirty three which will be the route address All right configure the interfaces on that PC we'll also go to PC2 and then configure the interface there as well and if you could recall that PC2 let's pull up our word file will take 98 to the default gateway of 97 so that will be 192.168.1.98 the net mass of 224 the default gateway of dot one dot ninety seven right so all we need to do now is to configure the routers so you will first go to router one and I wouldn't have to use a rollover cable because I'm using the uh, earlier version of packet tracer so I could just go straight to the command prompt a little bigger in size so we'll be able to see the text a little bit better and again I'll go into my privilege exec mode and then into global configuration mode conf t and I'm first going to do, like I always like to do, change the host name of my router. So this router will be R1. Right? And what I'm going to do here basically is to configure the interfaces on fast Ethernet as well as the clock rate on this one here. So let's just pick up the word file again. And we know this 33 and 65. So I'm going to go to interface configuration, fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 because that is the line that I'm using. And I'm going to set up an IP address of 192.168.1.33 as my default gateway with a net mass 224, right, on that interface. And I'm going to go no shutdown to bring up the line protocol. No shut for short. Right? Exit. And I'm also going to, as I in here one time, Go to the interface serial two slash zero, right, and add its IP address, which is one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot sixty five, with a two with a net mass of two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two two four, and because that is the DC end, we will put a clock rate of sixty four thousand. Right, and if I want, I could just put a question mark, and you'll see the different clock clock rate speeds that you could use. All right, and there will be no shot to bring up the line protocol. And of course, I'll have to configure first and foremost the other interface, which is router two, in order for you all to see that coming up. So I'm going to go to exit. I'm going to copy run start to save to NVRAM. Right, so I've configured router one interface. Interfaces, I should say. <coughs> On router two, I have to configure the serial interface as well as its default gateway. And if you go to back to the diagram, you'll notice that it takes up 97 and 66. So you're first going to configure. I'm going to hit on this configuration tab again. And I'm going to go to the commands. And you will see it coming up. So I'm working on router two here right now. I press enter and go to privilege exec mode by using the en with the enable command go to global configuration mode and here's here i'm going to set up those interfaces so first and foremost i'm going to go to interface 2 serial 2 slash o right and go to configure an ip address of 192.168.1.66 and i'm going to double check to make sure it's 66 right 66 and a net mass 224 right press enter and because that one don't have the clock rate we wouldn't set any clock rate for that but we're going to bring up the line protocol by saying no shot or no shut down and you'll see it is up and as we in here one time let us configure fast ethernet so interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 right and I'm going to do this again. Oh, the most important thing I forgot to do, change the host name, which I always like to do, R2. I'm going to go to interface, fast, 0 slash 0. Right? I'm going to give it this IP address. 
192.168.1 let me just double check right 97.97 right with a stop net mass I'm press enter and then I'm going to have the no shutdown command to bring up that interface alright so that interface is up exit exit and save to NVRAM right so so far we have brought up the interfaces of router 1 router 2 and PC1 interface has been configured already as well as PC2.